Yeah, well, I thought a much better start. That's something we've kind of been trying to focus on was really winning the first quarter and, you know, the punch first analogy, I guess, was really what we were kind of going with. And, and we haven't been as good. I think the first quarter is maybe like our third best quarter of the four, you know, statistically speaking for the entire season. So it just was something for us to kind of talk about and come out and see if we couldn't do that. And, and I liked our approach. I thought we were much better early. Um, I thought the second quarter was our worst quarter of the four. So I thought we kind of, you know, traded baskets a little bit, lost a kind of our edge there late in the second quarter. But then the response in the third quarter was pretty good. So, um, yeah, we were disruptive. I thought we were, you know, flying around defensively, especially early on a lot of our defense led to some offense and we were unselfish and shared the basketball and you know we wanted to put several people in double figures and thought we could do some things like that um so yeah proud of him maybe was really good tonight um you know minus her three-point shooting wow. <laughs> <laughs> i knew that was coming um, no, knew she, that was coming. she was really good um but yeah we did spread it around pretty well and got some different people involved Again, Coach mentions it, AB, a double-double. This is like a couple of weeks after you got a triple-double against Texas Southern. So how does it feel? Uh, it feels good to get back in the groove of things, like finish around the rim and whatnot. So, yeah, it just feels good, you know, getting back out there, getting the flow. Even though you say rebounding is a pain, can it kind of worth it in the end? It is, it is, it is, especially when creating shots for your teammates. How do you all feel like? I mean, obviously, students on break and not, but were y'all able to feed off the crowd that did show up here tonight? Well, I mean, yeah, I think you always do. And I think there's there's a comfort level when we play here, you know, regardless of how big the crowd is, you know, there's just there's comfort when you play at home. And we've been really good in this place over the last several years, um, you know. And so, yeah, so we just, you know, I think they relax and probably play. And when we can score like that, you know, women's basketball, three, you know, hitting threes and scoring out in transition. You know, we don't dunk and we don't do some of the things the men's game does. So that's how you create momentum right take charges and get rebounds and hit threes and spread the ball you know it's kind of how you do that and yeah obviously in a game like that when you score 101 you had plenty of opportunities yeah how about you do you feel like you're able to feed off the uh yeah like even when there's not a lot of people here our, our normal crowd that like always comes to the home games they always make a lot of energy so it's easy to feed off the people who are always here you know what i'm saying yeah. and then also we make energy on the bench as well like amongst each other so just feeding off ourselves and in the um the crowd that we do have here. And coach, I've heard you talk about learning something every game. What would you say you learned from your about your team here tonight? Well, I mean, I think there was a few things. I mean, we wanted to be balanced in our scoring, and then that was something we wanted to focus on too. And we really did really want to share it. And I think there's times the ball sticks, you know, for us. But I think our guards are starting to play. They're starting to make shots. Um, you know, we know people are going to try to take away the interior. Um, you know, they tried different ways to do that. So we saw man. We saw a couple different zones tonight. So we got to go against that. Um, but yeah, just re really from the offensive end was just spreading it, hitting threes. Tyler, you know, made three again, I think, tonight, right? So I think that's three games in a row now. So she's seen it go through the net. Jordan's seen it go through the net. Angel's been shooting it really well, although she wasn't probably as good tonight as she's been most of the year. Dez is shooting it. So, you know, things like that that I think are really important. Um, we want still kind of working on our defensive identity a little bit, but it was probably better tonight. Coach, we're heading to Miami this weekend. Give us a little preview of what we can expect with the Bradley and George Mason games next week. Yeah, well, I don't know a ton yet on them. I haven't watched either of them yet. Um, I just heard from the coaches that have the scout a little bit. They've given us a little bit of a report. But, um, yeah, we'll go to Miami, um, play two teams on a neutral floor, which will be good for us. And these are obviously the last two non-conference games. So big ones for us. If you know we can finish these two off, I think we would feel really good going into the Christmas break. Um, you know, where we are starting going into whack play, you know, once we get back. So, yeah, I think they're two, bitty, two really big ones for us. I just – this team gets so much better every time we play. So if we can continue to practice the right way, which, you know, we struggle with at times, we've got to continue to practice the right way um, and then continue to play and get better each time we take the floor, then I kind of like where I think we'll end up in March. But I also I don't think we're anywhere close to where we can eventually be, and that's what's kind of the most exciting thing, I think. And so we'll get better from, from Miami. Um, but, yeah, I don't have much scouting report yet for you. Well, thank you, Coach and A.B., for your time. Thank you. Thank you.